maybe God don't change his mind, but he does other stuff that we don't even know about yet, right? Supernatural stuff. Grace and mercy endureth forever. <laughs> Deep, huh? Well, stuff that made him great. But now he had to make a decision, change directions. He had to go towards God. Folks, the most important step that he could have taken, the most important step that he took was that he began to move towards God. Have you tried everything else in life? Have you tried everything in your own way? Have you tried it on your own way? On your own energy, Jason? Have you tried it? Me, Joe, Manny, Jerry, Jimmy, Mel, D, Ronnie? I mean, have we tried it our own way yet? Well, it's time to make a decision. And Moses was there. Moses was stopped. Has everybody been stopped by the Lord here? Yes or no? You need to, being stopped is fine, but now you need to make a decision. The step that makes you great is saying, now, I will now turn aside and see why it is not consumed. And usually we have to turn aside to and look in the mirror and say, God, I know me. I know what I deserve. I know what I should have. I know why I should die. I know I'm a liar. I know I'm a cheater. Why am I not consumed? And say, because my love is unchanging. My love for you does not change. Even when you reject me, I love you. I seek you. When you think there is no way, I still made another way. Every time you think that you got me figured out, you don't understand grace. You don't even know what grace is. God's riches at Christ's expense. G-R-A-C-E. God's riches at Christ's expense is your grace. That means for your, for whatever you did this week, somebody paid for that too. Isn't that special? And you thought you had bad credit. You got the ultimate charge card. Adultery? <laughs> Lying? <laughs> Sin? <laughs> Little lust? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? I just hate for him to crack the sky open while somebody's going, Ooh. you know what I mean, right? We don't have to go there, but you understand what I mean, right? Ooh. Hi. <laughs> uh, really? Really? I want to be a gatekeeper? Praise the Lord. Where at? You know, down there. It's smoky, but, uh, but you'll like it. In hell. But, 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 but Grace is, oh, so that must be what happened to Moses then when he started stuttering. Everybody with me yet? Number three. So there was a sight that stopped him. There was a step that made him great. Verses four and five says, And he said, Draw nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet, Moses, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. I added Moses in there just so that you know that God was speaking to Moses. Do you know what point three is? Point one is, a sight that made him stop was a miracle of God, a curiosity. The step that made him great was a decision, the will and volition, a choice for him to turn aside and walk towards God. And number three was the sound that made him bow. You with me? You know what the sound that made him bow was? The voice of God. Do you know how many of us we need that music in our life. We need that party music or that dancing. We sneak on that oldie stage as we stroll along with Jesus. And, and we think if we change the, the words around a little bit, it means something, right? Holding hands with my Savior all along. Oh, in love with my Lord. So in love with my, so in, so in love with Jesus Christ. My Lord is he. So in, right? I know you all know if I weren't a preacher, I'd have an HBO special. I know that. Do you know what my point is, though? How many of us do that little compromise thing? Got to have that radio. Got to have that extra channel. Got to have that Cinemax. <laughs> Come on. Has anybody caught on to that yet? They don't spell it with an S, but check it out. Cinemax? Maximum sin? Come on, anybody? I mean, is anybody here with that? Has anybody caught on? I mean, is it just me and my bad spelling, or has anyone else got sin o max? Maximum sin. The, the, does that, does that, come on, that bask, uh, uh, the backward masking thing work for you with that? Maximum sin. Sin o max. You know, I'm doing it all on this channel. HBO just, just lightly touches the subjects that this one touches all day long. 
Cinemax, HBO, a little bit of oldies. Well, praise God, Pastor. I just need you to know that I listen to this stuff because, you know, because it don't bother me. I just contemplate and meditate. Listen, folks. I used to like uh, 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 the uh, Latin one. Uh, Tito Esa negra linda camera. Right? Yeah, just, just, just. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody's doing it, right? 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 And I first got saved. I go to my brother. I said, come on, man. We're going to uh, play dominoes and listen to it. To it. Tito Puente and all these others. So I said, I don't want to listen to that. Why not? Why not? Yeah, you're born again now. Yeah, you're a priest, right? <laughs> no, I'm not a priest. I'm a, uh, well, 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 I mean, I mean, it shouldn't bother you. Why not? Why? Because it made me think of Norma Cologne. Uh, what's wrong with me thinking of Norma Cologne? That's because it's not Debbie Rivera. <laughs> That's what's wrong with it. Is everybody following me? Yeah. Memories of the way it used to be. You know how you get when you're mad at your wife or your husband like that and you just want to listen to, you know, going to the chapel and we're... You're driving down the road and you're all teary out and everything, getting misty blue. You know, you, you know, you love that emotional stuff, don't you? That's the crap of Satan, man. That's the garbage of Satan filling your mind, making you think, yeah, I'm going to give you a little love, Jones. Mm-hmm. Make you feel good. Get a little memory of how it used to be. You know, because, because, because. But when I was out in the world, man, oh, man, I had it going on. I was the mandinga. But now, but now, bless God, I'm, I'm saved and. I serve him and bless God. Boy, when I was out there, boy, man, I mean, 4 o'clock in the morning meant nothing to me. It just meant daybreak, start again. You know, but bless God now, you know, I go home and spend quality time and share words of affirmation with my family, you know. Almost sounds like we glorify the past, don't we? And in case you think that because I'm not at my sacred desk that I've lost my place, What's the sound that makes you bow? You see, it's one thing to hear the voice of God. It's another thing to bow. Bow and put your head up real close. Say, it, shoes, all right, Lord. My feet stink. Say, that's all right. Just take them off because I'll fry that cheap leather. You know? Take them off and bow before the Lord. And what was, what was the sound that caused him to bow. He heard the voice of God. Moses. Moses, come here. Take off your shoes, man. But are you following the story so far tonight? The sequence of events? He never could have heard the voice of God and bowed if he did not take the step that made him great and if he did not stop to see the sight. Are you following me? It never would have happened. God's calling on you tonight. Do you think this is strange that God is leading you with these kind of sermons? Do you think it's strange that God is God has even given a guy like me stuff like this? <laughs> you think that this impresses you? I got to preach this stuff. It impresses me coming out. I'm thinking, hello, God, can they tell on my face I'm surprised too? <laughs> that's, that's the sweet thing about Jesus. I'm preaching at the same, same time I'm preaching, I'm saying, Santo, hallelujah, I say, yeah, amen. And they said, amen, I'm, saying, I'm going like this in my own heart. Amen, Santo. And I mean, acting like, yeah, 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 right. I knew that. I knew that. You know, I said, Jimmy, bow. Jimmy, stay humble. Bow. This ain't yours. This is mine. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Hey, listen, I've humbled myself in this year. Many of you know it. If you haven't figured out yet, that's your problem. But, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I mean I've humbled myself. Well, number three, the sound that made him bow. He heard God speaking to him. He heard God in the desert. God still speaks to us in the most uncommon places, folks, when we turn. He has a way of speaking to you in your driest hour in the back of a desert. Are you ready for the nugget? You ready? Okay, hold up. This ain't going to be loud, but it's going to be sweet. You feel like you're in a desert right now? Things are kind of dry. <coughs> Did you know that sometimes your driest desert, Jackie, can be your holiest ground? Are you following me? driest desert can be your holiest ground. 
That's the beauty of a God that takes people who think they're somebody and make them nobody. And then say, if you come, if you stop, if you make a decision, that's great. If you listen to the sound that makes you bow, I'll make you somebody. And even in your little desert that you think nobody knows how I feel, just God hasn't touched me to a... Oh, Pastor Jim, I feel so dry now. I'm praying every day. I'm, I'm just, but you know, yeah, I'm thinking, how can you be having devotions every day, listen to the praise and worship music all day long? You must have Cinemax or something. Really? Because there's got to be something taking away everything good that you're doing. Because, I mean, if you're praising the Lord, seeking God, time and personal devotion, personal intake, uh, praising Him, praying for people, praying for yourself, and you're still bummed out, you need to disconnect that cable. Because <laughs> something's robbing it from you. Or you need to check on your music. Or you need to stop playing Gumby when you're at stop sign. You know? I know in the wintertime it's hard to, to, to see through coats, but, you know, men have a way of doing that. They, they can put a body right, right. You wear a big coat and they can see it in there. It's in there somewhere. I know that's why you love me, because I'm very candid, right? Okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. I'm, I'm just trying to be straight with you. You know, you got to... What's the sound that makes you bow? Tonight. What's it going to take to make you bow? You know, if you're proud, you won't stop. If you're proud, you won't make a decision. If you're proud... You won't hear the voice of God. You know what the absent element in relationships is today? Anybody know? Did I take my shoe off here last week? Did, did anybody see me take my shoe off or did I only do that in Berean? Only in Berean? Well, I have to show you this then. And I got some new shoes that don't stink, so I'm fine today. I know that's an ugly looking shoe, but that's all right, you know? Uh, Christmas is on the way, and you can buy me something that you like. Just that none of that Peter Pan hookup stuff, man. What's the only thing that we don't do? That's right. We don't listen. Anybody ever do a pretend listening? Jackie, do me a favor. Tell me your, your mom's name, uh, your uncle's name. Uh, how old you are and what you're studying and what you're planning on doing with your life. Now, start. Go. So, that's a really nice Bible you have there. <laughs> yeah, really nice. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it's, not, it's not beautiful hair she's got, right? Um, Sherry, how you doing? Are you, uh, you taking notes today? That's good. That's good. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> she got in the bag here. <laughs> oh, great. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. But that's what we do to everybody, don't we? They start talking to you, and the minute they start talking, we feel like i got to have something for them, especially preachers. I mean, you tell me something, and I feel like, yes, well, speaking from the Shakespearean view, we, 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 you know what I mean? We get into this whole thing where, I mean, I'm supposed to have an answer for you. How about if I just shut up and listen to you and look you right in the eye? This is empathetic listening. I came up with this. It's not a great illustration, but what it means is I try to think that any time people come to my office now, I imagine that they take their shoe out, off, no matter how stinky, lay it on my desk. I say, I need you to listen to me. I don't need your advice. I just want you to stand in my shoes for a little while, see how I feel. Be empathetic with me. Listen to me. See where I'm at. Folks, the greatest absent element, the reason we can't hear the voice, that, the sound that causes us to bow, because we don't listen. Everybody with me? We simply do not listen. We simply do not listen, not to each other, not to each other. My greatest sin in the ministry has been that this church has grown so fast, so many people, so many problems. I'll have them come in. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 right. I mean, I had somebody say, so then, you know, I started playing with dogs, and, and finally I figured that was obsessive compulsive, but then I started thinking about killing people, and I said, praise God, amen. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I thought, we need a psychiatrist, you know. Yeah, you know, but I mean, people can share stuff with you. You just kind of let it go. How about if we just listen? Did you know I'm trying to listen to my people so much lately? I don't get to get with everybody lately because I'm really trying to spend just more quality time with individuals and get to just, just 
listen, if it's your turn, I just want to listen. I want to I wanna know. Just talk to me. I'll listen. I may not give you any advice, but I'll listen. I'll know more about you. Maybe that's how you can hear the sound that makes you bow is when you just shut up and listen. Right? Amen. Everybody with me? Number four, we're almost done. Aren't you glad? So there's a sight that makes you stop, a step that makes you great, a sound that makes you bow, and number four, <clears throat> there's the summons that made him act. Summons. If you don't want to write the word summons down because it sounds too much like court, put down the call that made him act. All right? Let me read it to you. Verse 10. Come now, therefore... Moses he's speaking to, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. God can't use you till you've done all three. But you know, the summons that made him act was one thing. But you know, many of us have been called. But what do you got to do in order to complete a call? What have you got to do? The obedient is good. You've got to respond to the call. God has been calling many of you. God has stopped many of you. God has made many of you take the step of making a decision. God has even caused many of you to bow before him and hear the sound that makes your heart bow and you've cried before him. And now he's saying my final call is, is that my people are lost and they are the bush that's out there. And while they're lost out there, I will not consume them, but I need someone that will go. Will you respond? Will you stop? Will you act? Will you bow before me? Will you know that I am God? I will not fail you. And will you light the fire up inside you and go? Respond to the call. Respond. You know, maybe you thought you were somebody. God's word says that you're not great until you're nobody. Maybe tonight you realize that you're nobody. Maybe tonight what you're realizing is if you stop, see a sight that stops you. Take a step that makes you great. Hear the sound of God that makes you bow and respond to the call out of somebody who is nothing. God will make everybody. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord. Your people are so wonderful. And we can handle this stuff, Lord. They say this stuff is too heavy for us, too much meat, too deep for us. It's not too deep for us. We just need to stop. We need to take a step. We need to hear a sound. And we need to respond to a summons. Lord, in Jesus' name right now, I want by a show of hands with your heads bowed, anybody who, who wants to stop. Anybody who wants to step, anyone who wants to hear the sound, and anyone who responds to the summons, I want you to raise your hand. Come on. I mean, if you're the ones, amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Hey, everybody pray with me. Father in heaven, I come before you, Lord. I've been stopped. Lord, I need to take more steps in your direction. Lord, I need to be quiet so I can hear your voice. And when I hear it, I need to bow. And Father, I've heard your call, but sometimes I don't respond. Help me to respond. I thank you, Lord, that I'm the bush and you're the fire. And when you're in me, I will not be consumed. This world cannot consume me. In Jesus' name, Help me not to burn out, but to be a blaze for you. Amen. God bless you.